Hi everyone, welcome to Practice Problem Inventory 10. In this one, I'm going to test your knowledge at what to include or exclude from your inventory balance. So here we go. Tire Corps performed a physical count and valuation of its inventory on December 31st, and it determined that it had inventory on hand worth $225,000. However, they took some notes about what they either included or didn't include in that inventory. Based on that given information, determine the balance Tiger Corps should report on its December 31 balance sheet. Take a moment, see if you can figure this one out on your own. When you're ready, come on back and I'll walk you through the solution. All right, welcome back. So here we go. I'm gonna start off, I'm, I'm gonna keep just kind of a running tally on the side here. We're going to start off at $225,000, and that was the physical count number, okay? So that's what the company thinks its inventory is valued at. And now I'm going to go through each piece of information, determine, do I need to change this balance as a result of that information, or is that information good, they did it right, and I can leave the balance alone? And I'm going to start with that first bullet. Included in the count was $25,000 worth of goods that Tiger Core was holding on consignment. All right, now notice, Tiger Core is holding the goods on consignment. In a consignment situation, the owner of the goods has allowed another party to hold the goods to assist with the sale, but the holder is not the owner. So the fact that Tiger Core is holding the goods on consignment means they don't actually own those goods. Those should not be in the inventory count and yet they were included. So this is a problem. Our inventory count is too high. We need to subtract $25,000 for those consigned goods. All right, next bullet. Excluded from the count was $33,000 worth of goods Tiger Corps purchased FOB destination, and they were still in transit. So Tiger Corps is buying the goods. That means the destination is Tiger Corps. The terms of the contract is FOB destination, so Tiger Corps doesn't take ownership until they arrive. They are still in transit, so they have not arrived yet. So Tiger Corps has not taken ownership of these, therefore they should not include them in the inventory count. And notice they did not do that. Therefore, we don't need to do anything about this. They did it right. How about the next bullet? Included in the count was 17,000 worth of goods that Tiger Corps sold FOB destination, and they were still in transit. So in this case, Tiger Corps is selling the goods, so the destination is the customer. They were sold with the terms FOB destination, so Tiger Corps is going to retain ownership as seller until these goods arrive at the customer. They are still in transit. They have not arrived at the customer. Therefore, Tiger could Tiger Court should be including these goods, and they did. Once again, they did it right. We can ignore that one. Next up, included in the count was $40,000 worth of Tiger Corps goods held on consignment by another company. All right, so here we go with consignment again, right? The holder is not the owner. The owner is having someone else hold those goods for assistance. It tells us that these are $40,000 worth of Tiger Corps goods. So that's specifying Tiger Corps is the owner. The goods are held on consignment by some other company, but that doesn't matter. Tiger Corps owns the goods. Tiger Corps needs to claim those goods on its balance sheet, and it did. Therefore, no adjustment needed for that one either. And finally, excluded from the count was $5,000 worth of goods Tiger Corps sold FOB shipping point still sitting on Tiger Corps' loading dock. All right, now this one can be a little tricky. Tiger Corps is selling the goods, so destination is the customer. Shipping point is Tiger Corps. They have the terms FOB shipping point. So what that means is ownership is going to shift from Tiger Corps to the customer as soon as these goods depart Tiger Corps. However, the goods are still sitting on the loading dock, which means they haven't left yet, which means Tiger Corps still owns them and should include them in the inventory count. They did not. The inventory count is too low by $5,000.
That's all of our additional information. By the way, this is the, um, I'll call this goods on dock. All right. That's everything we have. Let's tally that up. 225 minus 25 is 200, plus another 5 puts us at 205. That is the correct inventory balance. That is what Tiger Corps needs to report on its balance sheet. All right. Hope you found that helpful. Hope you join me for another video.